What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. welcome back to Dungeon Warfare Alpha 16. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick guide on how to beat Crucible, the newest level, with no runes because I'm a pansy like that. I am actually going to change one of my traps here to the barricade trap, just as insurance. So what do we have here? This is entrance number one in the top right, and the path comes down to this portal. This is entrance number two, and the path goes up, and it does a bunch of weird things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a barricade right here. I'm going to have a barricade right here. I'm going to have two barricades like that. And I'm also going to have a bar barricade here. So what does that do? Entrance number one now comes and splits at the beginning. I'm not entirely sure why, but it splits. These free inferno traps are going to hit things. They're going to come down, hit this door, and then go into the portal. And then this one is going to go through the inferno traps, go through this area, come all the way up, down, and around. So our convergence convergence point is going to be right here in the middle, and I'm going to do a strategy that's been used quite a bit. Also, when I place and upgrade the uh, Soul Harvester trap, it doesn't make a sound. I'm not sure if it's always been like that, but I'm just now noticing it. So that's a little bit odd. Anyways, we're going to hop right into the game. So we do get eight free Inferno traps, which are going to deal quite a bit of damage to some of the things coming in, so I'm not really concerned about things over here. I am going to set up some traps on this store preemptively because I know that things are going to get passed from just various tests. And I originally did this without having the barricade trap, and it's just easier if you have the barricade trap because the final wave, which is wave 8, can be a bit of a nuisance if you aren't paying a whole lot of attention and having the insurance of having the barricades is going to be a lot better. Also, I do have grinders, and I'm going to be using them, but I only have them able to get to level 2. If you want, you could get those a little bit higher. I just chose not to. But I am going to be setting up just some things to be ready. And I do have the repair kit just for this one barricade. All the other barricades are totally fine. They shouldn't be hit at all. And this is where the horsemen start to come in. They're a bit annoying, and that's why I started setting up over here, because sometimes they will manage to squeeze past my defenses. And I don't want that, because those things are super, super annoying. So yeah. Yeah, here's a couple of thieves that managed to squeak on by. But so far, we're doing pretty well. The adventurers are all stopped by my demons. As soon as they touch the slime trap, they're pretty much dead, so I'm not really concerned about them piling up right here. Bunch of thieves coming on through, no problem. Wave 8 is the final wave with 20 priests, 20 dwarves, and 20 brutes. So that is very, very good. We're going to get a grinder over here, just in case things manage to slip by. I'm also going to start setting up a couple more dart traps, because entrance number 1 does have... Uh, veteran warriors and heavy armors and mean stuff like that that are probably going to manage to get by my trap area right here. And even some of these horses are starting to give me a bit of issue all the way back here and some journeymen. And that's totally fine with me. It does not bother me in the slightest. We're going to fast forward this a little bit more. And some veteran warriors are also going to get on this door. It's not a concern. I can just heal that up really quick with my repair kit. Yeah, everything's going well. There's a load of stuff coming in here, and for these final waves, I am actually going to get another Inferno Trap. One that they didn't place for me, of course. Yeah, a couple things are going to get over here. But I will just wait until the door is all cleared. Then we're going to get an Inferno Trap facing to the left, because things are going to start getting trapped all right here. Oh, uh, yeah, this one managed to eat a hit, so we're going to use our repair kit on that. I do like how this level is laid out. It does have a few options for where you could set up your convergence point. Like, you could set it up so everything goes in here, or up here, and it really makes the level feel a lot more like it's your choice. And I noticed that with Aerial Assault as well. That there are multiple paths that you could be choosing for your for your game. And I really, really, it, it's really hard to do that in a map. I've been playing with the map editor, and I cannot make something quite as good as they make for these maps. There is definitely some finesse that I am lacking that they certainly have. 
when coming up with these maps. I am going to get a spin blade trap here just to help wean things off as well as get them blown up as well as making them fall into the trap or the uh, pit. I'm just going to do the double fast forward here. Let these guys just let them die because they aren't going to get very far. These dwarves are going to start noticing this barricade. So I have to pay attention to that. And that's also why I don't have the barricade more in the center. Oh yeah, see they managed to break through because I wasn't fast enough on upgrading it. Oh jeez, and these guys are actually going to start breaking through too. My... Jeez, my grinder should be totally fine though. But I wasn't fast enough to upgrade this on the final wave, which is how they managed to break through and that's why I had the barricade because, like I said, if you just aren't paying attention, then that having the barricade is going to save your ass. Like it did mine. And then these are all just going to get cleaned up. Perfect. Everything went great. Yeah. Awesome. And then you also get a 20 rune, uh, or a 20 gem bonus for beating that. Anyways, I have beaten every single level of Dungeon Warfare yet again. My name is Nigark. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and thank you for watching.